These are rare delicacies. Mm. Mm. Pecans with a very pleasant crunch. You're learning to love them! Ask yourself, how many articles have you seen over the last couple years that promote eating bugs as a solution to the doomsday cult belief that man-made climate change will end humanity? Unless I'm living in an alternate Mandela effect reality, this has been a consistent media narrative for a while now. Adding some insects to the mix is customary in the kitchen in some parts of the world. Now climate experts think the protein-packed pests could offer a real solution to the global food crisis. Rampant wildfires. Devastating floods. Climate change is a global emergency. One of those dietary changes we need to consider might even make you a little squeamish. Locusts, bamboo worms, cicadas, pollen, honeybees, worms, worms, worms. Oh, the crunch. Check, please. Well, according to National Public Radio, or NPR, that's all a racist right-wing conspiracy theory. That's based on <laughs> white anxiety. What the actual f did you just say to me right now? If you didn't just have an embolism and you're still with us, check out this top shelf gaslighting. Just a heads up, y'all. This episode has some vulgar and homophobic language. Just be advised. What's good, everybody? You're listening to Code Switch. I'm Gene Demby, and this week, I'm joined by Huo Jingnan. Hey, Jingnan. What's good? Hey, Jing. So Jingnan is one of our colleagues here at NPR, and she covers how information gets made, how it gets disseminated, right? Yes, and as part of that, I cover how conspiracy theories travel and spread. Okay, so <laughs> you're on the tinfoil hat beat, right? Okay. Uh, yes, but not <laughs> just that. Um, I cover the entire information environment, both online and offline. Think social media, chat groups, mm -hmm. television, schools, workplaces, churches. So basically anywhere we Wait, can our what? Got it. Mm -hmm. Did she just say that she monitors churches? Not synagogues, not mosques, just churches. That just seems weird to me. Also, it appears we have another Nita Jankowitz type figure here who sees themselves as arbiters of what is and isn't disinformation or conspiracy theories, when in fact, they themselves spread blatant falsehoods like the one you're about to hear. You are here today at Code Switch because we are on the race beat. And I know that on this episode, we're going to go down feet. a rabbit hole with you. I guess we got to pull our whiteboard and get the, you know, the red markers and start drawing connections because you're going to walk us through a phenomenon that lands right at the intersection of our two beats, right? Oh Race what is it gonna, and conspiracies. What yep. is this going to be? Pure anti-Semitism, white anxiety, and a healthy dose of xenophobia. Okay, okay. White the conspiracy theory goes mm -hmm. that global elites are plotting to force ordinary people like you and me mm -hmm. to eat bugs. What? Wait. What? To eat bugs? Yeah, I okay. know, I know. What? Yeah, that's how I started. Who's <laughs> ever heard of that? Okay. That's okay. crazy. Let's take this piece by piece. Okay, global elites. Mm -hmm. That is, you know, uh, that's been kind of a wink toward this old anti-Semitic idea that they're like Jewish financiers who are secret puppet masters running the world from behind the scenes, yep, right? Yeah, exactly. A racist or right-wing conspiracy theory brought on by white anxiety? Are you kidding me? Well, allow me to retort. <laughs> Going all the way back to February 29th of 2008, insects get a tasty makeover. Insect cuisine is all the buzz. <laughs> insects may be the taste of the next generation, report says. Yes, and it's the choice of a new generation. The joys and ethics of insect eating. Wait a minute, they are saying insects, not bugs. These pictures might tempt you to eat bugs. Well, never mind then. The green argument for eating cicadas, plus a few recipes. How about new? No? Even Neil deGrasse Tyson is now munching on bugs. He's an asshole. At Bug Eating Festival, kids crunch down on the food of the future. But I thought it was just a racist right-wing conspiracy theory brought on by white anxiety. Maybe it's time to swap burgers for bugs, says you in. Your ancestors probably ate insects, so what's bugging you? Ha ha, very funny, mother Don't bug out. The Smithsonian Channel is going to show you how to cook insects. Pure anti-Semitism, white anxiety, and a healthy dose of xenophobia. The conspiracy theory goes that global elites are plotting to force ordinary people like you and me to eat bugs. 
what to eat bugs? Yeah, I okay. know, I know. What? Yeah, that's how we started. <laughs> if that is not the very definition of gaslighting, I don't know what is. NPR, National Public Radio, isn't serving the public, they're abusing them. And that should be a crime. At the very least, their public funds should be stripped immediately. But unfortunately, that's probably not going to happen with our current crop of communist Democrats and weak Republicans. But you can still support this channel and help me to continue calling out their lies by donating and subscribing to Subscribe Star and Patreon. You can find all those links in the description or a pinned comment. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and make sure to leave a comment to vent some of those frustrations.